And I'm on the phone today with Al Jarreau, who is uh, going to be coming to the Iowa Soul Festival in downtown Iowa City in yeah. just a couple of weeks. And, uh, Al, it's uh, great to talk to you. Thanks so much for taking hey, the time. It's to talk to you, man. Mean Dennis Creed <laughs> on public jazz radio. I just said to you, what a concept. I love you. <laughs> well, we... I love your I love your station. You you know there 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 I don't know of another you <laughs> in the in the country. <laughs> I don't know another station, uh, public jazz station in the country that's fantastic what you're doing well thank you there are yeah. there are a small handful of us but uh-huh. uh well let me tell well, you we you have to let me know i'm gonna call them in the morning <laughs> <laughs> well we love you right back we've uh, played your music and enjoyed your uh, your singing for so many many years and of course because we're here in iowa cedar uh-huh. rapids and iowa city we lay claim to being the place where you kind of got your start as a singer as well well, you should. Yes, indeed. Uh, um, I was a student on that campus for for th- uh, thirty six months or so, and uh, um, uh, while I was there, I was laying the groundwork for a lot of who I would become, and um, and it was a wonderful time in in my life. You know, I I just left um, this small this little small school. Uh, in Wisconsin, Ripon College Sister School to go and Grinnell, and I was playing basketball on on Grinnell's basketball courts uh, when Herbie Hancock was a student there. Hello. Oh, oh wow. Hello. <laughs> uh, have we got some connections? <laughs> Can I get a connection? Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. you and Herbie go back a long way. Then. Well, I, we never met. And and uh, today, when we stand across the room from each other and go, Ripon, Grinnell, <laughs> we 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 you know I know guys that that he was in school with uh, that I played basketball with uh, on their on their basketball court and and uh, and lost and won games uh, with and to, uh, uh, but we didn't meet until as as musicians until well after that and discovered. This connection that we had with with Midwest Conference, and so uh, it, it was a delightful little connection that we always celebrate when we see each other. Uh, but no, we didn't meet then. Uh, uh, but we we really kind of you know in in joy the the significance of those of those. Uh, those little roots that that are important, you know. I mean, both of us in little liberal arts schools, you know, me majoring in in, in social work and 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 him majoring in in music and all and uh, but you know, there enjoying what co students uh, and and Grinnell students enjoy uh, to. To this day, it's a small environment, family environment of learning where you can get some special coaching and special coddling as I needed <laughs> as you as you, you know, begin your journey in life. And uh, I've had a wonderful journey of life that, that I owe to, to those kinds of roots. Well, yeah. I was talking to a uh, friend of mine in Cedar Rapids and told him that I was going to be interviewing you, and he is of an age. He remembers seeing you at the small jazz club in Cedar Rapids, the Tender Trap. Right, Tender Trap, owned by a guy, uh, by a drummer named Joe Abadili, who was uh, uh, a wrestler at the university. And this, yeah. and the story that the story that we've heard here is that you got to know Cal Bessemer, the piano player in Iowa City, and he was the one who invited you to come up and sit in with that band. Is that is that true? Well, well, actually, um, uh, there there was a piano player before Cal Bessemer. Uh, there were several, you know, really really important great piano players that came through there during that. Uh, uh, that period when I when when I was uh, playing there, I saw Cal Bessemer just a few days ago. As a matter of fact, really, uh, right? He he came to the release party uh, uh, for for the new record, the tribute record to George Duke, um, 
and 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 you, you've just reminded me that I've got to call him, and and we're going to get together and 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 <laughs> and reminisce. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was a there was a, a young guy, young piano player named Bill Bell, tall, skinny guy, who who who, who later came to teach at Cerritos College in uh, uh, in near Oak. Near Oakland, California. Well, he's the guy who was who was a student at on the on the campus at at the university, and who heard me at some university function and said, "Hey, man, <laughs> come with me. Uh, my name is Bill Bell. I've I've got a trio, and we're playing at this place called the Tender Trap in Cedar Rapids. You got to go there and come sit in uh, some weekend." And I got hired. And I think um, weekends there for and anyway, it's the same. It's the same time period. It had to have been within months of 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 each other. Uh, wouldn't have been more than than ten or twelve months that I that uh, I got uh, to know Cal Bessmer and and do um, a, a really signature little piece of work. Uh, and it's that record called Masquerade uh, that that came in that came on a small part of the market in 1984, 85 ish, uh, and and features um, some really fine little jazz songs uh, and and songs of standards. Uh, um, and and if you, there's a there's a uh, Long Beach College radio station that that's Still plays our today. You'll hear them play that version of "Sophisticated Lady," the the, the, the Ellington song, and and get calls going. Who was that? <laughs> so yeah, that was a very important period of time for me. Uh, preceded by you know by those those days when I had come to. To to uh, to Cedar Rapids as a as a student, and then found and uh, and then found myself in Iowa again as as a graduate student and married a girl from Iowa. <laughs> um, is Quaker Oats still in Cedar Rapids? Quaker Oats is still in Cedar Rapids, and uh, depending on the day of the week, you can uh, smell the crunch berries. It was every day. Yeah, you... <laughs> any day of the week. The crunch berries and uh, cinnamon toast crunch. Are the two things that you can smell the the best? It seems like. Oh my goodness! Oh, you make me reminisce, buddy. Well, you got your, you of course uh, of course got uh, got that start uh, in Iowa, and uh, fast forward now all these years later, and you're touring to support the uh, uh, the the new release. And and actually, before I fast forward, uh, my understanding is I know that you and George Duke went way way back, but you met. George, not all that long after you exactly left Iowa, right. wasn't he one of the first people that you started you started exactly, performing with when you exactly got to the coast? Exactly right. So I left Iowa, going to reach for the brass ring. George has a song called "Reach for It." It was a very important uh, funk song for George, and I went to, to California to do my my reach for it. I had this dream, you know that. Maybe this kid from Milwaukee who's been singing jazzy music since he was 14 or 15 years old, you know, could finish his studies in, in, in social work and go and work in San Francisco as a, as a, as a social worker and, and, and join this hot bed based around fantasy records that was doing all of this new music uh, uh, coming out of uh, uh, the hate Ashbury and Berkeley and those kids who barefoot kids and bare chested who'd burn their bras and draft cards and who, was, who had started this cultural revolution. Janis Joplin, Gracie Slick, Grateful Dead, Jefferson Airplane. You may not know those names. Oh, I, to- oh, I, I totally know them. Yeah, but that the, the, the Proko Harem, all of all of that stuff was 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 coming out of the Kate Ashbury in San Francisco Fantasy Records. I wanted to be there. Maybe, maybe they got room for 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 a Jazzy guy. <laughs> 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 and so that was the spirit that I went there with, you know, left 
you know, packed my bag and and said, I'm 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 going away. I'll see you. I'll see you. Uh, uh, pray for me. I'll uh, watch for the mail. <laughs> and. Uh, and, and that's what happened. You know, I I, I worked days as a, as, as a counselor, and um, and and nights I I was singing wherever anyone would let me sing, <laughs> and and I walk into the half note <coughs> on a Sunday afternoon, and it's matinee, and, and sit in, and uh, and and the and the leader of the of the trio there. Is is this young this young uh, um, uh, baby faced kid uh, named George and and these cats are are laying it down I mean cooking swinging with looseness and uh, and a freedom in in the swing in the swing that was uh, just beyond their years and so I stood there you know in a line with. With ten horn players <laughs> who wanted to go and play with George and the trio, sit in and uh, finally went up and sang a few songs. And uh, um, the club club owner came over to me and and said, "Hey man, I want to talk to you." And that was the beginning of it. And we did three years there, and uh, and and found an audience that. In finding, and so finding, you know, just told me and George there was there were there was other things that you could do, a different little twist on music that people were could listen to that 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 didn't always have to have a backbeat and, and bell bottom trousers and, uh, and 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 loose lips and hips, you know, that was a little more subtle, and we called it jazz. Yeah, it was a very, really important uh, time for me and George. To find out, yeah, that that there were people interested in in a lot of different kinds of music, and and what it told us was maybe there's a place for us in this in, in this game called the music industry and recorded music, and 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 we should you know throw our hats in the ring, reach reach for it, you know, and and uh, and we did. George went off Frank Zappa. Did uh, stints with several other people, including uh, um, uh, um, Cannibal Adderley, and, and and the list is is long uh, of the folks that George played with and 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 directions that he took. And uh, for me, uh, it 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 took wow, it, it took until well another eight years. Uh, before I recorded anything, but but I needed to to find my way to be the leader of the group, and and George uh, was able to to work as uh, the as the keyboard player uh, side man in 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 some situations that were you know just as important as if he were the leader of the group. That's the role that he took. <laughs> well, yeah, and so, so, and sometimes easier to work steadily. As right, a, you know, as a member of the band, right. uh, rather and, than as the as the leader, as a singer would be, right, and get all of that experience under your belt that uh, comes in so so wonderfully well as you and as you become the leader of the band. Then, of course, later on in your careers, you work together a few times. Uh huh. Yeah, George. Uh, um, uh, I I me, I spent lots of hours in George's studios as he helped me with 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 different pieces of music of mine. I mean, uh, one of the most important songs that I ever sang was was Roof Garden. That's an Aldro George Duke composition. Does anyone wanna go waltzing in the garden? Party, come this party, oh. Funky side of Al Jarreau. Well, I would George. say, and I would say that's probably to this day is probably the most requested song of yours that we get here at KCCK. Hello, very, very memorable. <laughs> Hello, yep. so really important that we found a way to to combine that song with Reach for it, George's funk contribution to the planet, written both at the, around the same time. That was the that was the time period he was hanging. With uh, with with Funkadelics and 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 George Fenton and and the Detroit connection funk uh, machine 
and um and, and so it came out of that same period of time and and on so on this on this record we spent some time figuring a way to combine those and medley uh blend those two into one song and i think it worked pretty well mm -hmm. definitely yeah. definitely uh, and that brings us to the new record, which uh, we're just we're having a lot of fun with uh, playing here uh, on the radio. And I know mm -hmm. it's getting I know it's selling and getting getting played all over the country and the world. And I know that you're touring to support it. Uh, obviously, we lost George uh, last year, and this album is uh, you know is is your tribute to him. Right. Do you, you know, of course, we talked specifically about uh, you know Roof Garden and the and the, the funk tune. But as you thought this project through. How did you how did you start with picking what songs out of you know the immense catalog uh, that was available to you? How did you how did you pick the songs that immense you catalog? To <laughs> well, you just described the difficulty. Immense catalog. My God, you know where do you begin? Well, <laughs> I don't think I've still you know covered the re the, the the complete review of what George did. I think I've only scratched the surface in reviewing everything. No, we got a pretty good look at, at the, the catalog in totality, but um, uh, but just what we've said here this in these last 20 seconds is describes the difficulty. George did such a breadth of material um, that it, it was hard to discover you know what it is that that was where you cross paths. Well, that's that's that was the 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 defining uh, 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 um, uh, stuff to reach for us where where we cross paths. Uh, I I realized that you know I, I George George did um, a piece of classical music that he wrote called Mirwood Suite. Not many people know about that, but I uh, I refer you to that. That's somewhere there in the George catalog. Classical music, you know, symphony orchestra, Mirwood Suite. No, okay, I'm not going to do that. George has had a period of time where he was doing fusion jazz music with with with, with Billy Cobham and 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 Jean Luc Ponty and John McLaughlin. I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave that to George. <laughs> So, so that was gone. I'm not going to do that. I'll leave that. Maybe Herbie Hancock might want to tackle that kind of music, or, or Chick Corea. <laughs> there are some guys who can still do that, you know. So, no fusion music. Uh, but there's there's other stuff that George and I shared. We loved Brazilian music, and he did a whole tribute record to Brazil. Brazilian music changed my life. I developed my thumbprint and signature me as a result of listening to Brazilians go. The vocal percussion, that's me. Oh, sure. If, if folks, if folks know anything about me, they know that I'm a vocal percussionist guy, and I found that listening to Brazilian music. So, for sure, got to do some things there in, 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 in that kind of sound and songs that are influenced by that. And uh, so it's the places where we did cross paths that, that, that I decided uh, was where I ought to hang out with George for a while on this record. There's a song called Thumb Day, which is which is yeah a big band. You know, it's, uh, the, the the way that song lays itself, it's kind of George's tribute to 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 Basie and Ellington. The way that song is written, so that's that's a piece that I did. With with Diane Reeves, and I mean, you could just see the drummer, you know, just sitting there loosely going, You can hear it. 
hear that happening inside that song, that's another great meeting place for me and George. So I picked those places that 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 were natural um, uh, meeting uh, m- 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 meeting rooms for me and George to get together uh, in on on this record. And and that's what I did, and 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 I think um, they were comfortable spaces for me. I had to reach for a little bit um, to in, to find this 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 higher voice in rhyme, no rhyme, no reason. But but I that's in that voice has been inside me for a few years. I don't always sing in that voice, uh, but but uh, but there it is. No rhyme, no reason. A signature song of George's, and and the same for Sweet Baby. Those are the places where we could where we could meet and and people enjoy a different listen to George's music with a familiar voice, Al Jarreau. Well, you covered uh, your cover of Sweet Baby. That's what that's one of my favorite songs from the Clark Duke years, and I actually saw them perform that. I'm uh, sure you on, did on that tour. <laughs> And of course, your duet partner there is Layla Layla Hathaway, yeah, who is going to follow you, headlining the next night in Iowa City here at the Iowa Soul Festival. Ooh, how cool is that? (laughs) Well, I am so tickled about this uh, festival that that is going into the third year or uh, fourth year. Third year. Third year. That's brilliant. That's wonderful. Yeah, it's really become it's really become the happening of the fall in, uh, uh, in you know not not oh let me put it this way the the happening of the fall not related to Hawkeye football <laughs> in downtown. Iowa and yeah, City. that's a that's a hard one to fight, buddy. <laughs> well, Hawkeye football. And we're oh. so pleased that uh, Hancher has uh, brought you back to do this uh, outdoor concert. You're going to love. The stage that we set up out on the Pentecrest, uh, it is a it is a great place to uh, to watch, a great place to listen, and I think it's going to be a fun place for you to perform too. I'm anxious. I can't wait. <laughs> Al Jarreau headlines the Iowa Soul Festival Friday, September nineteenth. It's a free outdoor concert sponsored by Summer of the Arts. Uh, Al, thank you again for taking the time, and uh, I can hardly wait to uh, watch and hear you in Iowa City in just a couple of weeks. Right back at you. I appreciate this little time we got to spend and talk to your jazzer people and uh, your music lovers and uh, uh, and 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 uh, fellow uh, alumni. <laughs> I'll see you soon.